Good evening. It's been eight months since the LAPD explosion, and the lives of families are still upended. This is our home. Was our home. Jose Becerra walks through what was his family's home on 27th Street, a house bought by his 85-year-old aunt as a pillar for the family, a home keeping everyone together. Okay, fue hogar para su familia. He says it's the home where my daughters were born and where we wanted to live for the rest of our lives. But now only a shell of a home remains, marred by memories of that grim day eight months ago on June 30th. The LAPD bomb squad detonated illegal fireworks in the South LA neighborhood, destroying much of the landscape. 27th Street was a neighborhood filled with families, but now home after home is abandoned, with families displaced, like the Becerras, waiting to find out when they can move back home. He says it is painful and frustrating to have to live the way we are living. For the last eight months, the family of nine has lived in a hotel in three separate rooms on different floors, a much different lifestyle from their house of 22 years. She says here at the house, we could basically be in the same room, taking care of each other and staying in contact. But there at the hotel, she says we can only have four people to one room and we are separated. And all the while, this family is out of their home. Michael Alder is the family's attorney. He filed a claim with the city to start repairs on the house last year. The work started in November, but... It's been four months and there's very little done. With no windows, solid walls, or ceiling. Clearly there's no real incentive for them to do very much or do it with any kind of speed. Council member Curran Price admits repairs are delayed in some cases. Around 20 families were displaced, and months later, the majority are still waiting for affordable housing options or repairs. It's been difficulty finding affordable housing. You know, just it, it's uh, you know, you have some folks that have been paying a thousand dollars a month uh, where they were staying, and now the you know the costs are significantly higher than that. Uh, some uh, don't have the resources. I said some got lawyers now. Uh, some have immigration issues. The LAPD's inspector general recently released a report indicating the bomb squad repeatedly ignored warnings from one of their most experienced technicians about safety concerns before the explosion. Uh, we still, as I said, want to make sure that there's some accountability, that those responsible place some kind of disciplinary action. But this family just wants to be back home together under one roof again. He says we are in bad shape financially and emotionally, and we are living in a hotel with uncertainty. That's the truth. Esa es la verdad. We reached out to LAPD, but they say they do not have a comment at this time. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.